Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have my creative notions for February. I am so excited. You guys know every time I get this bag, <laughs> um, I think that's Scout. Y'all know that little boy gonna like tear up my whole house. <laughs> Jelly Bean is sitting down here going, who's tearing up the house? <laughs> I digress. <laughs> so, I have taken it out of the USPS mailer, but here is the bag. Looking all lovely and Valentine's Day-y. Um, I haven't even cut it yet, so I haven't looked in, I haven't peeked, nothing. I was waiting so I could share it with you right now. <laughs> um, so, let's get it open. Because I know y'all are excited as I am. I know it. Okay. Oh, and you know she always has a bag within a bag. Look how gorgeous. And she's got her logo over here with a little camper. And then, see? Oh, that's so cute. I love these bags. I love gingham. And they're like cotton bags. It's not like they're plastic or anything. So, oh my goodness. Like, I love it. Ooh! <laughs> Candy! Wait, I think there's another one. Ah, there's another one! <laughs> Two Starburst! <laughs> I'm so excited. I have this, whatchamacallit, that I bought. And I still haven't eaten. And I found it in my... Um, bag from Joann's and I was like oh I remember when I bought that <laughs> oh my gosh you guys I'm looking down at this I am gonna pee myself right now I'm gonna pee myself <laughs> oh my gosh Vicky I haven't even like pulled anything out I'm just looking at the colors that thing right there that I can't see until I see it and then I got, oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so. I, I don't even know where to start. <gasps> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm starting. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Where's the little piece of paper? Where's the thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I... I'm going to pass out right now. I... I know that people think that I am just... I don't know what people... Well, I'm not a sort, I don't know. Listen to me. I can't even talk. This woman is like... Okay. I'm going to calm down. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh my God. I can't. Okay. Okay. Is everybody ready? <laughs> I feel like I should take a pill before I open her bag every month. Okay. Creative Notion subscription box for February 2020. Let's have a picnic is the theme. And she's got this little, um, thing on the bottom. It's like a little sticker looking thing. And it says, I googled my symptoms. Turns out I need to sew more. <laughs> I think that's me too. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> Let's have a picnic. And I'm not going to, it doesn't look like, okay, I'm going to put that to the side. We have a, um, ooh. Oh. <laughs> I know Laura Veach. So, Laura, I see your um, your recipe here. And Laura's recipe is called Goober Fudge. <laughs> now, I was really excited about the Goober Fudge until I saw the half a cup of raisins. I understand that that's the Goober part. <laughs> but I don't like raisins. However, I could substitute that for something else. I could. Hey, Jelly Bean, what would you substitute for raisins, buddy? What would you do? You know, Mommy don't like nothing. You know that, right? Yeah. 
he knows. Okay, so um, goober fudge. In a double boiler, you want to put 12 ounces of milk chocolate chips, one cup of cocktail peanuts, 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half a cup of them darn raisins. <laughs> Make sure you use the foil mini cups and very lightly spray them with cooking spray. Stir until the chocolate is melted and ingredients are combined. Use a small ice cream scooper sprayed lightly with cooking spray to fill the foil cups. I also make some with white chocolate chips, pecans, and dried cranberries. See, you lost me at the cranberries. <laughs> I'm trying. What could I put in there? I'm really trying to. I I'm going to think of something. Um, mostly, I give it to family and friends when we're out and about. Girl, you should just eat that. That sounds yummy, except for the raisins and the cranberries. But I'll figure something out to put in there. What? Could, seriously, what can I put in there? <sighs> Laura, I want to say you did absolutely nothing wrong, honey. This does sound awesome. I just eat nothing. I'm like terrified of food. It's crazy. If I could change anything about myself, honestly, that would be it. I wish I were very adventurous with food. I'm not. If I don't know exactly, exactly what is in that, ain't passing my lips. Nope. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> we have, and this is taped to something, but I don't know why, but was it taped or was it? Oh, I think it just accidentally got stuck. You guys. Okay. Okay. They're earrings. Look. Let's see if there's some on them. Because you can't tell with that little heart there. But I don't think so. I think it's just little leather pink earrings. That's it. It's just pink leather. Light as a feather. With little gold hoops. Well, or what would you call that? I don't know. Earrings. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. I totally love that. I thank you, Vicky. I love them. I I look. I'm gonna take these out. What do I have on? Oh, I know what I have on. I'm gonna put them on right now. I love them. They're pink, for goodness sakes! How could you not love them? And she doesn't just like, you know, put it in a little zippy, you know, that it fits in and, and send it off. No, she puts a little red heart on each little baggie because she pays attention to detail. Look how cute, guys. Isn't that cute? And you can't even feel they're on. Oh, look, they flip. Woo! <laughs> okay. Okay, we have like this little little ant he's in the picnic basket that's probably our zappy dot i bet i love this little this little thing here that with the little guy i love him he's so cute i sound like i'm talking to my animals now <laughs> smudgy hey baby it is it's our zappy dot oh i love this one and I called it the right thing this time. I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, it says it's a Sue Hills Designs scissor fob with clip. Oh, so cute. So you're supposed to hang these from your scissors, I think. Or at least that's what they're kind of saying that. So it does have like a big old clip. I mean, I guess it depends on, you know, how your scissors are. But this would be really great. And here it is. Does it come out? I just want to see if it comes out. Okay, this one doesn't come out. So it's like, it's in here. Is it a magnet? It's not a magnet. Okay. I'm just letting people know this is just a PSA. It doesn't mean I'm disappointed at all. I love it. Look how cute it is. Um, and this is really great, actually, to hang on your scissors. Like, especially if you go to um, a retreat or something and you bring your own scissors and everybody's always going, where's my scissors? What's your scissors look like? Like everybody else's scissors, right? So all you got to do is you take your scissors and you can just, oops, I had it backwards. It's my bad. And just hang it on there. And now you know that's your scissors. 
You know what I mean? I love that. Thank you so much because I, oops, mine aren't, there we go. Um, that's awesome. I love that dot. Okay. Um, I know I go real slow, guys. I'm sorry. Um, now we have some stickers to go with our maker's planner. Isn't that cool? I like those. There's like a whole bunch of different stuff. What you doing, baby? Let mommy get her coffee. Come on. Okay, sweetheart. Y'all see Smudgy a little bit? This is a little head. Okay. And if you look, um, we, we got one of each of those sheets. So you have four sheets. I like that one. And um, so you have one of each of these. So there's four sheets inside. Way cool. Um, okay, and then we have like a piece of fabric that's like really pretty. It's like pink with a dark pink flower print on it. And look at it in the background. It's got like this little swirly thing. It's kind of cool. Okay, I, 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 I'm coming to the fabric. The fabric is gorgeous. <laughs> the fabric is gorgeous. I, I'm just, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so the fabric is called Not Too Shabby. And we have five inch uh, squares. Uh, so a 42 piece charm pack. And it is by Rivers Bend. Rivers Bend is a division of Midwest Textiles and Supplies. And look at that fabric. And we got two of those, guys. Two charm packs. Um, let's look at that fabric. Because I have not seen this. So I'm just going to assume that a lot of you maybe haven't either. And even if you have, I know that you all want to see the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love how it's packaged. You guys, really? I'm so sorry. Please, please just accept the apology. Why are you guys coming up here and fighting? Mama's right in the middle of a video. Jelly bean, that's just not professional. <sighs> okay. I love the packaging. I love how they have this all this turned down. Um, to see like a little bit of what's underneath so you don't get that just that top piece um, so you kind of get more flavor of what's under there love that um, okay so how am I gonna I'm gonna try to move it a little bit don't want to go that way or don't I think I'm gonna go this way because what are you doing smudgy why you're like tippy toeing through the tulips and I don't know what why you're doing that baby he looks like he's being very cautious, which is weird. He's it's he's behaving a little strangely. <laughs> I don't know. Go figure. Okay, so we see one, two, three, four fabrics already. I hope this you're getting enough light. Um, okay, I guess I'll try to pull them down this way. So so far, no repeats, um, and let's just check it all out. It looks like, and I'm just kind of like going through, looks like uh, like really nice blenders. So that's pink. And then a blue. Scout. Oh my goodness, guys. Remember life before Scout? Not that we don't love them. I do love them. <laughs> that's really pretty. Look how well that's cut. Wow, that's nice. A green and then this gray, or is it silver? Um, hmm, kind of gray, I like it. Oops. And then, ooh, so this is just like that. Except it's green. I am like really bad at this right now. This is gray, isn't it? It's, I think it's a gray. It's not silver. It's gray because it's not shiny in any way. And there's that pink one. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. I, I'm thinking that they're all different. That's gray. 
which is like, this is super nice. Okay, so that's a blue. Oh, only one like that. That's pretty. I, I just have to laugh because honestly. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. Um, ooh, there's like that other one, except this is in red. That's, that's gorgeous. Ooh, and that's in peach. Ooh, look at that one. It's butterfly, the flowers. Oh, look how pretty. Those blues and greens. Oh, there's that one again, but in green. Oh, those are cute. A gingham. Ah, uh, that one has like the, the, the pink and the blue in it. I love that. Oh, I I'm loving it. Okay, so are we, because we had something like that at the beginning, but it might have been a different color. Hold up, let me look. No, okay, so we have that one, and then there it is again. So let me see if it's starting over, because it's sort of, yeah, it looks like then it starts again, and you get like that's the same. So it's looking like we're getting two of each um, of most of them, at least. I think it looks like um, once we get to, hold up, there was that green one, and oop, that's my bad. What was it? Okay, so it looks like... Oh, we didn't get any of those duplicated. <laughs> I'm such a brat. Um, but we do have two packs, right? So we will in some way have that. Okay, um, so very cute. Very, very cute. And I can even like put this... I can just scooch this back. And then it'll go right back in that little package. And everything is still just fine for my anal retentive little heart. <laughs> okay. Boop. It's like it's never been opened. <laughs> okay, so two charm packs. And then what is this? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I think she, I think this was made for me. Like this entire package. It's almost like she was like, let's make a bag for Yvette. <laughs> Double pinwheel foundation paper piecing paper for five inch pre cut fabric squares. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold up. I, I gotta see what this is in here. Because I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Or I might be... Let, let's just... Okay. Alright, what does this say to do? Okay. Okay. The double pinwheel foundation paper has been designed to be used with five inch pre-cut fabric squares. The method is slightly different to tradition. I was going to say, this isn't a really traditional foundation paper piecing. So, um, for all you guys who are over there with your hearts palpitating because you're scared to death of foundation, it's not typical foundation paper piecing. It's very, very easy. So let's just, we'll, we'll take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the paper has been made to fit the fabric. Okay, 
Um, this eliminates the need to trim seams after sewing each piece together. I Okay, I'm not going to read like the whole thing, but it looks like super easy. Because I, I, I would have to read all of that. I'm not going to read all of that because y'all would be sitting there going, wah, 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 right? Um, we don't need to do that. <laughs> but it's not traditional. It's like this, right? So you're going to have like a fabric one, two, and three. But I mean, honestly, um, as far as paper piecing goes, this is the simplest. It's it's perfect. Like you, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I, I shouldn't say this. You know, I get shot every time I say, <laughs> I don't get shot. <laughs> you guys know, y'all know that I also exaggerate just a little bit, right? <laughs> but I always shoot myself in the foot is what I was trying to get at because I say, Oh, I'm going to do that and show everybody. And <sighs> I'm going to try really hard to at least do one of these so that y'all can see. Because um, it looks really, really, really simple, guys. Like, I, I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised at how simple this is going to be to do. And watch this. Are you ready? All right, so we have two packages, right? And they gave us a lot of background. <laughs> And we have this pattern. And it's called Not Too Shabby Double Pinwheel Picnic Quilt. Finishes at 55 and a half inches square. Oh my goodness. And look, she even used like a pink binder clip. This is a binder clip. You know, I call all my wonder clips binder clips. This is actually a binder clip. <laughs> so I can say binder clip now. And it's safe. Um, so this is how your pinwheels are going to turn out and then you just put them together, right? So, um, you would use four of these sheets to make one. Does that make sense? And then they gave us, see how they have these little corner pieces? That's what this is for. And all the white. They've obviously given us oodles of white fabric. Um, I keep saying they. Vicky, <laughs> and I know who made this because it's all on European paper. Anyway, <laughs> I love you, Andrea. I do. You know I do. <laughs> um. Okay. So, I mean, th cut. There's um, cutting instructions for all of the fabric. And then there's um, cutting instructions for the cornerstones up at the top there. Um, exactly how to cut out all the white fabric. And then, seriously, you're just putting together four of those and then you're making 25. And then it comes together like that. You can't make this up. You guys, do I have to shut the door and you guys can just go off and fight somewhere? Okay. I don't think we even need to have a close-up. Because... I'm just, I, I'm practically speechless right now. I'm speechless. I. Vicky is wonderful. I am doing everything I can to let everybody know. Because. Honestly, unless someone's your, like your arch nemesis or something you should tell everyone about this box i i just it's always cohesive 
it's always she's always got all these little extra things she like gives us uh, hold up because i'm not kidding i think and i could be wrong so i'm gonna look because i don't want to say anything before i actually um seriously guys these little earrings that she put in there no mention of them on there because it's she just gave them to us because she loves us. It's not included in the value of the box. And I know that it, this was brought up. Like, if you are getting the box, she did send an email around to everyone saying that she forgot to put the values of everything. Um, but seriously, if take a look around you. There, you need nothing to tell you. That what you have received is well over the value, or, or the value that you received is well over what you paid. I mean, for goodness sakes, we have all the background. We have the cornerstone. I mean, the only thing you don't have is make, like the backing, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. And I mean the batting. But I mean, nobody ever gives you that. Or I've never seen anybody give you that. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> two five inch charm packs two yards of white background fabric one fat quarter for the cornerstones a pattern for the double pinwheel quilt two packs of foundation paper piecing for five inch charm packs the zappy dot um yeah there's i mean and then she's given us some candy and she put she makes these to package things in so that you're not just getting the little you know what I mean like she everything matches and we got the earrings we have um, a, a recipe I, I'm just every month I'm blown away guys and um, there's really nothing else for me to say honestly I don't even have to oh almost forgot the stickers. We got the stickers, and I mean, hello, we got this bag. This is worth something. It's it's not plastic. It's not, okay, so I'm just going to stop now because y'all know I love her, and it's not just because she's my friend. I'm friends with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Well, not like with her, though. <laughs> I love Vicky. But I just think she's like she was born to do this, right? Like I, I know I'm not the only one who thinks this. She's been doing this for a long time now, and every month, I just I I don't know. I hope I'm not putting too much pressure on her. I'm sorry, Vicky, if that's if I'm doing that. I really don't mean to do that. I'm serious. I think you were born to do this. Like, it's, it's wonderful. If I were even thinking about making a subscription box on my own, I would take one look at yours and go, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Couldn't possibly keep up with this girl. I, that's just how I feel. I just feel like you do such a good job. And you care. You know? Like, you don't just, you don't just walk around and go, oh, let's just throw this in. Let's throw that in. Let's throw this in. Everything has a purpose for being inside. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I do have a jelly bean over here who's trying to stay out of the melee that's outside the, the door. Um, and please make sure you're subscribed. Ring that bell so that you know every time I have a video come up, I have um, videos that I have that are coming up that are going to be reviews. I have um, some blocks that I'm going to be putting together that um, have to go with a sew along that are, that's going to go over like a few months. And then I also have um, one that's definitely going to be going like over a year. I've got, so I've got loads of things that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm really excited about the content that's coming up. I hope you are too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.